Professor Means Testimony. The defendant came to me with what she said was very important and by necessity secret. She asked me to pre-record my speech and come to the audio room during the mock trial. Juniper confessed to the murder and asked that I get her declared innocent in court. Okay, if she did that, then why would she even let us be her fucking defense attorneys? Like, what? Yeah. She also said I'd become an accomplice after losing my alibi due to the pre-recording. But when I said I would protect Juniper, I meant it because it's the humane thing to do. I mean, not protecting a, a murderer? murderer. Yeah, what? As a, oh my! So you're saying the defendant threatened you? This has to be a lie. I mean, everything about it lines up too perfectly to be true. Does it, Apollo? On this most consequential of occasions, let me be completely frank with you. Ah! Oh, shit. Juniper has truly taken to heart my teaching that states the end justifies the means. Ding. I don't believe you. When she asked me to defend her, she said I must also prove her two friends innocent. Her two friends? Uh, the witnesses? Correct. Hugh O'Connor and Robin Newman. I was to ensure all three walked free. All three were to achieve their dream. That was the result Juniper was seeking. And she was even willing to threaten me, her own professor, to that end. Hm. You no doubt had high praise for her ruthless tactics. Yeah, what was he like? I'm so proud of you right now. <laughs> Yes, well, that is why I vowed to vigorously defend her despite her threatening me. <laughs> there was a time when lawyers merely sought the truth if they wished for victory in court. I he's bet gonna say $20. It. He's going to say yeah. it. He's going to say it. Come on. Nine. But alas, those days are over. Now, in the defense of justice, order and all that is good. The end justifies the means. No way he okay, does not say Dark Age things. of the Law. I'm so pleased. Ah, you got us! I know. He they he was setting it up perfectly for the alley-oop. Yeah. And he choked. I'm so sick of hearing that phrase. You and me both, Athena? Yeah. <laughs> Though it truly grieves me so, I must tell you this. Forsake the truth if it's victory you seek. Steal yourself for this new courtroom reality. That does it. He's gonna regret dragging those dismal, depressing ideas in here. I also call them dangerous, but sure. Oh, there we go. God. Since he's already surrendered to the dark age of the law. <laughs> it's up to me to fight it. I'll fix it in post. Why so silent, Sykes Dono? Something the matter? This. This is a court of law. Yes. It's no place for a long-winded talks. About, it's no place for long-winded talks about idealistic principles. That's why I'm going to let the evidence do the talking. This Fuck you so and your She likes the evidence. Do the talking. <laughs> yeah. This Athena is so good. She likes her evidence. Do the talking. She lets her widget do the talking. <laughs> Let's not get carried away now, Miss Sykes. It will not do to have you attempting to discredit my doctrine. Do not force me to rectify this situation. No, go ahead and rectify it. Only if I lose and you win, that is. Sure. 
<laughs> okay, Professor Means. Let's do it. Uh, okay. Defending him, she said, is very important by necessity secrets. Right, she blackmailed him is what he's trying to say. Confessed to the murder and asked that I get her declared innocent in court. She also said that I'd become an accomplice after losing my alibi due to the pre-recording. When I said I'd protect Juniper, I meant it because that's the humane thing to do. I do have to ask... Why'd you record this thing and have Hugh send it off that had her saying you're a goner? Yeah. Kind of feels like you were trying seems, to set her up. Seems awful sus. Yeah. Oh, no, that, is, that is a little sus. So, let me get this straight. You were trying to help Miss Woods. <laughs> okay, I'm glad we got her right. That's a great setup. <laughs> There's nothing more than a bald- that's nothing more than a bald-faced lie. No offense, your honor. Some take it. <laughs> <laughs> Such defamation of my character and your hair follicles, your honor. It is an outrage. Miss hmm. Sykes will clarify her statement. But leave my hair follicles out of it this time. Excuse me, motherfucking Blackwell doesn't call you by anything except your baldness. <laughs> this yeah, is fucking he, bullshit. Yeah, yeah but, but have you seen him? He can I, murder me. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> fucking with that guy. <laughs> God damn it. Yes, of course, Your Honor. Now, please take a look at this. The witness gave this tape to Mr. O'Connor. Then he slyly whispered, Take this to the police and tell them you found it. There was no whispering, slyly or otherwise, involved. I simply did that out of kindness. That tape contained our client's voice. In short, it is incredible. Da it is incredibly damaging evidence. Why would it even exist if the witness wasn't trying to pin the murder on our client? Uh oh. They say the road to Damn, hell is paved with line. good intentions. But not yours. Vine boom. My name is Athena Sykes, yo. <laughs> My partner is Apollo Justice, yo. Yo. <laughs> uh huh. You never had good intentions. Only lies to protect yourself with while blaming others. <gasps> you, Professor, are the embodiment. Of the dark age of the law. Aww. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Let's vibe into that. Here it comes. Is this it, chat? This has gotta be it. Why, you little. You dare call my teachings and methods lies? Let's fucking go! Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is his face cracking? Yes. Yes. Because he's a statue Is... bridge. Yeah. Is that dude made of porcelain? Yeah. Really? He's, he's a marble. He's a marble man. Yeah. I've got to touch the marble. I've got to date the marble. I've got to. Teach the marble. How much of his? How much of him is human then? I have to convict the marble. How much of him is dancer? You're fired. Themis Legal Academy is a proud institution. It's the most powerful in the world. You'll never forget what true education and lawyering means once I'm through with you. 
Uh, um, Professor Means, what's with your hair? Quiet! No talking in class! We're not in class. Oh! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> It's my birthday! <laughs> do we birthday. do anything special on my birthday, <laughs> Team Professor? <laughs> also, for any of my, uh, for any of my Honkai Star Rail players out there, this guy's fucking Dr. Ratioing it out the wazoo. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's funny to me. Also, why did he just write Homeroom <laughs> October 26th? The uh, fuck does that mean? We're gonna find out. It's the date. We're in homeroom. Class is in session. Teach just got tenure. We're about to get schooled. Teach just got tenure. Eyes and ears up here, everyone. Homeroom is now in session. We will begin with roll call. Athena Sykes. Huh? Oh, uh, here. Apollo Justice. I'm fine! Uh, I mean, here. Fool! The proper response is here without any extraneous information. Oh! I mean, here. Next, your honor. Okay. Here! C class, that's the proper way to answer. Simon Blackwell. Fuck off. I said, Simon Blackquill, are you here or not? Oh, shit. There's I really want him to, like, throw the chalk and then Simon, like, slashes it in That'd half. That'd be cool. Taka something. just catches it. In I was gonna say, Taka just catches it in midair. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? Well, then. I'll just mark you absent. Now, get out of my class this instant. Get out. Very well. If that is your wish, who am I to defy my homeroom teacher? Is that such a good idea? Prosecutor Blackwell is free of his shackles. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! It just so happens I was a member of my high school's disciplinarian committee. Of course. Oh, you dude, were. you are you are such a loser. You narc. Oh. But is that really so shocking? Oh. Wow, you and Junie have so much in common though. Constabulary lapdog to teacher's pet. What a malleable mutt you are, fool bright. Very good, Bobby. You just earned a gold star and a promotion to head disciplinarian. That's not how now, this, works. this guy's this guy's that one. Now, y'all remember? Go ahead. Let me tell you, Professor Means had some good ball spinning skills there. Ooh. If he was playing basketball, he would never score on his own team. <laughs> no, don't say that, Prince. <laughs> Professor Means is gonna throw chalk at me. No, this guy's the fuck. Y'all remember fucking Ned's declassified school survival guide? A little bit. Of course. I'm a cool yeah. person. He's that one guy who just spun the basketball all the time. Oh, yeah, the jock guy who was only doing. He just did that for the entire time. Uh, yeah, that's shit. the only thing he did. And then it blew my mind when I realized that was just a fake arm with a thing on it that spun the basketball. <laughs> all right. Class is now in session. Uh, why do I have the sudden urge to go to the nurse's office with the stomach ache? <laughs> this I do love this series of sprites. Oh, I bet this is a motherfucker for them to translate to. Like every different language, they have to redo all of his yeah. animations. Yeah. Pay attention. I am not the killer. Juniper is. <laughs> Main point. Juniper is the killer. I am innocent. Wow. This will be on the next test. 
so you had better be listening. Attention! Well, Professor, you created the phony tape to pin the blame on Juniper. Plus, you were the one, you were the only one who could have moved the body during the mock trial. Objection! What? Athena, you disappoint me so. To think you would label me as a murderer. You weren't at school? Where the fuck were you then? I had a doctor's appointment. And then my mommy took me to get McDonald's afterwards. <laughs> I even got a Happy Meal toy to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> now, pay attention. The murder occurred on the 23rd between 6 and 8 p.m. But I was already at home by that time. So, how could I have been involved in this crime? Objection! Professor Means, can you really prove you had already gone home by that time? <clears throat> Objection! Can you prove that I was still at school? No. Uh... No, I can't. No motherfucker saw you? <laughs> so you admit it. Well, you just earned extra credit for your honesty. But you have also earned yourself lavatory cleaning duties until you graduate. Paula's like, thank God it wasn't me. <laughs> oh no, she does do it. Did you see that? What did she say? She said, no, I do enough of that at the office. Oh, fuck. That's funny. No way, man! I totally object! Robin? I can't believe I fell for the professor's silver-tongued lies. Why, you... How dare you talk about your teacher like that! I'm not listening to you anymore, man! No way, no how! Now, I have a confession to make. You know those two statues that were on stage? I didn't make them all by myself! The statues on stage? Do I want to know where this is headed? I was able to finish one of them, but the last bell rang before I had time for the other one. So, I asked Professor Means to make it for me. What is, what? In other words, the professor was there on the stage after the last bell. Right. And it would have been way past 7 p.m. before he could have finished. Professor Means was still at school? This is... Well, this is incredibly important testimony. Thank you, Robin. Love you, Robin. The professor told me... I'll take care of it. I thought my parents would let me be an artist if I said I'd made both statues myself. That's a wild leap of logic, but sure. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry for not telling the truth! Damn, it's really coming down outside here now. Rob! I, I can see the lightning. <clears throat> Objection! Quick! Somebody get this juvenile delinquent out of my sight! What the fuck? Simon! Your head haunts you among the delinquents! Do something! Whoa! Ah! And who's in charge of the class pit around here? Hm. Not interested. But if you want a class in swordsmanship, I'm your man. Of course, only real blades will do. No swords at school! All weapons will be confiscated! He literally walks around with a bow and arrow. Ah! Nurse! Nurse! Where's a school nurse when you need one? It would seem Sykes Dono seeks a showdown, Professor. In which case, you would do well to draw your staff quick as lightning. Very well. Then I will just have to prove my innocence myself. 
The real lessons begin in second period. Prepare to be served old school style. What is that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Your testimony, please. <laughs> Uh, That's the really good. Gives up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna. Oh, I heard that Ooh, one. Ooh, yeah, that was Ooh. a big one. Let's uh, keep on keeping on. Now pay attention. Robin took over half a day to complete one statue. <laughs> what a dog shit artist. I, however, finished most of the other statue between seven and eight thirty p.m. Jesus Christ, Ooh. that thunder. The defendant, Juniper, saw the two statues with her own eyes at 8.30 p.m. Completing a statue so quickly meant I could not leave the stage for a single second. How could I have possibly had the time to go to the art room and commit murder? You're saying the defendant saw the finished statues? Precisely. She said so herself at the detention center yesterday. Her defense team was there and heard her say so too. Don't try to deny it now. That evening, I went back to my dressing room to get something I'd forgotten there. It was well after the last bell rang. I'd say maybe around 8.30. That's when I noticed that both state statues were finished. They were quite large, and they were each covered in a white sheet, but I could tell. All oh, right. The professor was there when that matter came up. Before I address the professor's charges, I have a question for Robin. Also, I don't know why, guys, my voice is going fast. I was about to so. say, Pritch, how are you okay? I don't know why, but I'm very quickly losing my voice. Um, I, I mean, I'm Do you fine, have some water? Do you have some water. I've been here? drinking this entire time. It is not a, it is not a lack of drinking thing. We okay. can, I mean, we can uh, find a stopping point if you want to rest. No, it's not about resting. It's just that I'm not going to sound good. I, okay. I don't. I feel fine. And, I, and, I, and if we, and if there's comics during the art, I'm not going to voice any of them. Okay. Okay. That's totally fine. Uh, how hard would it be to complete a statue like that in one and a half hours? Fucking impossible, Athena. It would probably take me at least twice as L-O-N-G. So, personally, I think it would be incredibly difficult to finish in that short a time. <sighs> that didn't exactly help our case. But he won't get off that easy. He's bound to stumble over his own slippery means. <laughs> Jesus, God. Ooh. I live in Thunder Ooh. City right now. What the hell? Living in the Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pay attention. Took half a day to complete one statue. I'm a the god of statues. So I did an uh -huh. hour and a half. Juniper saw the two statues at 8.30. Completing a statue so quickly meant I could not leave the stage for a single second. I feel like it has to be one of these last two. Yeah, I couldn't have gone. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start here. Let me press. Why were you in such a hurry? Objection! In the legal world, your body is your capital. The early bird gets the worm. I think that's OnlyFans, not the legal world, but sure, man. <laughs> I mean, that's hey, why I... under, under capitalism, your body is always a resource. <laughs> that's very that's true. true. <laughs> that's why I get to bed at 9 p.m. each and every night. And that's why I was working as fast as I could. I didn't want to miss my bedtime. <laughs> Well, ready to, ready to concede that I never left the stage? Well, Miss Sykes, do you accept the witness's claim? Not in your Not life, Buster. Not in your life, Buster. Buster, Buster Brown. Um. 
Please. You're giving us the chance, so, I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, what are the timestamps here? Only at 6 and oh, 603. Six. Okay, so this actually tracks with Robin being like, hey, man, could you finish this for me? Um, Jesus Christ, Thunder. Um, oh, shit, fuck. Well, I've tried everything, but I still can't prove anything. I guess I... I concede. Hmm. I couldn't hear you. Say it louder this time. <sighs> I can see that Professor Means never left the stage. Let me go back and do it already. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But what took you so long? I was there at the stage the entire time. I couldn't possibly have committed that crime. I'm not going to give up here. I'm afraid I have to side with the witness, Miss Sykes. And unless you have any further objections, I'll have to put this issue to rest. Objection! Not oh. yet. A defense still has an objection. Athena? You've thought of something? <laughs> well, okay. as I said, not yet. Oh, so it's time for legal smoke and mirrors? Get Trucy in. Not here. yet, Athena. It's not time it's not yet time to quit. Yeah. It's at times like these, when it seems like there's no uh... way out, that you have to. <sighs> yeah, I have to turn the case no, upside I thought, down. I thought it was going to be Forrester Biggest. Me too. <laughs> Instead of focusing on what the professor Ooh. means could have gone to oh, the okay. art room, I should focus on how he could commit the murder without going there. Okay, I guess you picked the right thing after all. Oh, shit. It seems our young lady has a real bona fide idea. I hit the space bar on accident. But I'll use <laughs> any means necessary, even casting stones, <clears throat> if it'll distract her. Is your chalk made of stone? Gah! Who brought the bird to school? Sykes, Donald. If I hear one word of your usual jibba jabber, I shall have your head. The murder occurred in the art room. Yet the witness was on the stage. How do you propose to fill the vast gap between these two key facts? If I accept the premise that the professor was on the stage the entire time, the only answer is that we got something else wrong. Wait, that's it! Every last one of us made a huge mistake. We were totally wrong about... Oh. The crime scene? The suspect. Scene? It's, crime not scene? Scene? it's not Professor Means. Junie did it. <laughs> ah! It's the crime scene then, right? Gotta be, yes. Yeah, because if he didn't leave, then she had to come to him for him to kill her. If Professor Means was on the stage the entire time, then he must be the killer. Ridiculous! The defense has become utterly incoherent. No, it's just the murder wasn't committed where we thought it was. Continue, Sykes Dono. Okay, the murder was actually committed here. It's just gonna be this, the, the fucking stage, like, it's where he was. The greatest riddle of this case has been how the body was moved from the art room. But if the murder occurred on the stage, that means the body was never moved at all. Sit 
silly girl. When the body was found, there wasn't a drop of blood on the stage floor. Surely there would have been some blood if that's where the murder was committed. There wasn't any blood on the stage. Really? But there was something on stage on the time of the murder that's now bloodstained. The school banner? Banner. I'm assuming so. It's true that there were no bloodstains on the stage floor. But there was something on the stage that did have a bloodstain. And that would be this school banner. No blood, no blood would have gotten on the floor if the victim was under this when she was killed. Oh my, that's quite a compelling theory. Silence. What is it now? My theory makes perfect sense. <laughs> that was a pathetic attempt. You must put every inch of your body into your attacks. The autopsy states the cause of death was loss of blood. Yet only a trace amount was found upon that banner. Where did the rest go? Blood getting on there when the body was moved by wire makes more sense than not. <laughs> Very good, Simon. Tell me. What's your first choice for higher education? Is it that the other banner was used and then burned? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'll write you the ultimate in recommendation letters. You're all but guaranteed to get in. Bro, I'm in jail for several more years. Actually, the defense has something to explain that as well. Y you do? If there was only a trace amount of blood on the school banner, and there must have been something else the killer used to soak up the blood, all I have to do is figure out what. This is what soaked up most of the victim's blood. Oh, okay, yeah, they give it to us here. Oh. Nice. Good lord. Ooh. You keep it down out there? Why, it looks like there's some other piece of fabric on top of the school banner. Yeah, if the it's governor's really banner down that had outside been outside the courtroom today. <laughs> if the governor's banner that had been specially made for the school for the school concert, <clears throat> since it's on top of the school banner, the blood would have hit it first. It could have easily absorbed most of the blood, like a dishcloth. Somebody get Vince in here. <laughs> and only a small amount would have soaked through to the school banner below. So it makes total sense for the school banner to have only a little blood on it. <laughs> so... That banner absorbed the blood like a dishcloth. Yes, that, that would explain it. The governor's banner was like a dishcloth? Surely it was at least towel quality. <laughs> sure. This is this is nothing. Yeah. Simon! Don't just stand there! Do something! Silence! Sykes Donald. You are learning to wield a blade quite well. Okay, let's, let's do the thing. But how will you respond when I come slashing at you like this? <laughs> the remnant of a large blood stain was detected in the art room. Okay, yeah, this is what I was wondering how we're gonna clear up, because I have no fucking clue. But why would there be blood there if the murder occurred on the stage as you claim? Oh, it's just Hugh's blood. Yeah, it's when Hugh cut himself. The blood stain in the art room was faked. How? I'll tell you how. All that was needed was something that could transport the blood upstairs. Good 
and that something was a piece of evidence we've just finished discussing. Discussing. Oh, then oh. never mind. It's the burnt banner, I guess. Oh, did he like bring it up, ring it out, and then fucking burn it? Yes, that's what that's I That's wild. To think you'd stoop so low as to present mere garbage to this court. It's only garbage because someone tried to destroy it by tossing it in the incinerator. That someone was most likely the killer seeking to get rid of crucial evidence. The killer used the wire to bring the blood-soaked Gaviner's banner back to the art room. Then, the blood was wiped onto the floor to complete the roots. It makes perfect sense. I do love that his screen, his uh, chalkboard hits him in the head. Order! Order! This is quite a development. To think the body was never actually moved. Hold it right there. The body must have been moved. How else do you explain that loud crash you heard during the mock trial? If it wasn't caused by the body crashing into the statues, then what was it? Uh, I hadn't thought of that. If that loud crash wasn't the body hitting the statues, then what was it indeed? The knot in the school banner shows that something was carried along the wire in it. So if that's true, I know what I have to find. Oh. Something that was in the art room before the murder and then on the stage after. Oh, the, the Lady, Li Lady Liberty. Yeah. The object that was sent down the wire to crash into the statues was... Lady Justice. Take that! Ah, that! That statue! Yes, I believe it was this statue that broke the other two. Not Professor Court's body. The unique statue that you see on the right, that's the pure white lady justice from earlier. Professor Court accidentally broke it while she was polishing it the day before the mock trial. But she used her own artistic sense and technique to repair it as you see here. Nobody would have guessed that it was the original lady justice. Perhaps you are on to something. But why, pray tell, would anyone move that scrap heap relic in such a tedious manner? So did I. Excellent question, Simon. Keep them coming. You know why, but the fact that you won't acknowledge it shows how twisted you are. Lady Justice was moved during the mock trial. During that time, Professor Means was fabricating an alibi with his pre-recorded speech. If we consider the facts, then Lady Justice was moved in order to... Uh, point us to point the us body? To the, point us to the body? Yeah, because that's what made Athena and uh, Phoenix run to the scene. Yeah. Professor Means used his pre-recorded speech to fake an alibi during the mock trial. He wanted to move it like he could he wanted to make it look like he couldn't possibly have moved the body. Moving Lady Justice was his way of pointing us to the body and cementing his alibi. Gah! That's quite a persuasive argument. For a while there, I thought you weren't taking the trial seriously. Well done. No, sorry, that was just Hugh not taking this, <laughs> this trial seriously. Uh, 
<laughs> you should never underestimate me, Athena Sykes, says the evil person, sure. Professor Means always means what he says, and says what he means by all means. Fine, then. Say it already. I'm waiting. The murder occurred the night before, but the body wasn't found until late the next day. Countless students passed the stage till they met in the lecture hall for the mock trial. So, answer me this. Why didn't anyone see the body that entire time? It was under the tarp. Yeah. That can be explained by... Uh... If the victim was murdered on the stage and left there, the body would inevitably have been discovered. And of course, there was nowhere to hide a body upon that stage. This is not good, Athena. Our claim is this close to being beaten to a pulp. I know, but we've come so far. You tried so hard. <laughs> Consider yourself schooled. Okay. I couldn't have possibly killed anyone. The killer is none other than Juniper Woods. It always has been, and it always will be. Arr. Just wait a minute. Poor Juniper. She must seriously regret having asked you to defend her. Bro, what was she gonna do? Ask you to defend her? Who was going to throw her under the bus? Like, what are we doing here? Uh. And to add insult to injury... You nearly had Hugh convicted for murder. In my defense, that was Hugh's fault, Your Honor. <laughs> the end justifies the means is an amazing bit of legal wisdom. That's <laughs> what the blackboard <laughs> that says. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you haven't forgotten that little fiasco. Attorney badge is just for show. Wow, what a dickhead! Damn. <laughs> Not only did you fail to defend your client, you also raised false charges against her friend. You have no right to call yourself a lawyer. Oh, shut up. Pridge's voice is dying. Why would you give her a line like this, game? Yeah, that's <laughs> But if this trial proceeds in the same manner and ends in the same way as the mock trial, would you not lose everything you've worked so hard to gain? Don't tell me I failed once again. Failed to save someone near and dear to me. I've worked so hard to become a lawyer, and even studied psychology. Has it all been for naught? Am I just doomed to relive that all no. over again? Not that. Blood! But in black and white! Uh... Uh... Ah! Uh, Athena? What's wrong? Oh shit. Tra trauma. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> breathe, in. breathe in. Breathe out. It's okay, Athena. Your machine head is better than the rest. <laughs> Green to red. My machine head. <laughs> Relax, Athena. Breathe. It's not what this really has to be the case where I have to do this, isn't it? <laughs> it's not working. Everything's going dark. After all I've done, is this how it ends? 
forgive me, Jimmy. I couldn't protect you like I said I would. Robin! You leave Athena alone, man! She's the one who saved me! It was because of Athena that I could stop hiding and start living my life as a girl again. And she saved the friendship between Hugh, Juniper, and I. I think you're an awesome lawyer, Athena. One of the best. But I raised false charges against Hugh. To be fair, he also confessed. And that's not all. I've done some seriously unforgivable things. <laughs> What's the big deal? False charges are nothing to be scared of. And I'm not even mad at you. I should really be thanking you. You used legitimate means to expose my wrongdoings and give me a chance to re-examine what's important. But what does it matter if I can't save Junie? I mean, the whole reason I've come so far is... It's not over yet, Thena. Even now, at this very moment, I still believe in you. Junie. I know you better than most people, Athena. And I know you'd never surrender to the dark. God damn it. <laughs> and I know you'd never surrender to the dark age, dark of, age the law, of the law like the professor did. Thank you, Joni. But I feel like I can barely breathe. I don't know what to do. Silence. Stop your bleating this instant. You look an utter fool. Okay, bro, you can't say that to somebody who looks like this. Prosecutor Blackwell? There is one who awaits you, is there not? And that is the reason you have studied so very hard. Oh, oh, oh. Are you prepared to give up on all you have worked for thus far? It would not do to have you disappoint you know who. Jesus? <laughs> the great I am. The great I am? I. I. <laughs> You're wasting your time. You have nothing on me. No evidence or anything else to establish my guilt. The bright, cheery, dark age dark of the age law of the is law. where the ends justify the means. What? Bright and cheery are not adjectives I would associate with that. You are helpless before the might of lawyers for whom the ends justifies the means. Objection! Don't worry, Athena. You're doing fine. The truth will always win against people like him. But, Apollo, what am I supposed to do now? Listen, all you have to do is take a deep breath and look back over the entire case. If there's truth to be found, and there always is. You're sure to find it. Let me see you smile. Remember what Mr. Wright said? The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. Thanks, everyone. You don't have to worry about me now. Because everyone knows if you're having a panic attack, if people just talk to you, it goes away. <laughs> this game's understanding of psychology is way more insulting than its understanding of law. It's <laughs> really bad. 
Athena Sykes is psyched and ready to rock. Prepare for your utter defeat. Professor Court was killed in the art room. She was killed right where her body was found. It wasn't killed in the art room. Mm -hmm. We know because there wasn't any time to move the body there from somewhere else. That means the body had to have been hidden somewhere on stage until it was found. Let's think along these lines and see where it takes us. First up, when did Professor Means remove the body from its hiding place? Well, let's see. Oh, God, we have a huge-ass monologue here, aren't we? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, yeah uh, I was going to say, you're going to be talking a lot, Yeah, Chris. well, also... If you need to take a break, I think it might be... Yeah, I, be I also saw uh, Gab out say we, we, we have a decent bit still, so I'm, I'm, I'm cool to call it here if you... If you, if you like, because I don't want your voice to. I don't want I mean, you to be forced sucks to that, It sucks that we're not finishing this case today, but. Yeah, but you're done. I can't do man. this shit right now. Yeah, you're done. I can't do man. this shit. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, hey, folks. It 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 might be a uh, the not a super climactic spot to stop, but I think this is good. This is this is totally fine. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. And we can we can finish it uh, next week and start. Case 5-4. Folks, if you like this, catch it live every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube.com slash team. And please uh, support us if you can. We really appreciate that as well. But until next time, stick around for art. I guess court is adjourned. Roger Wright Shoe with Who Wants to Sing Bob the Builder theme song. Uh, FTL, yeah. this is a digital drawing with soft brushes, not a 3D render. That's awesome, then. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, the that's builder. Good. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Professor means I don't actually know the Bob the Builder theme song apart from the chorus. Uh, yeah, same. But Professor means Court and Miriam too. Then Hugh the old fart joins the crew, and when some bad <laughs> grades may spoil the fun, one thousand dollars will get the job done. O'Connor <laughs> and Robin and Juniper Woods—they're all confessing like good friends should. <laughs> Hugh yeah. the Builder, did he do it? Hugh the Builder, no, he's lying. <laughs> That's really good. That's awesome. <laughs> James with Drew These Two. Yeah, I love this. I love nice. the like more adult like outfit design versions for them. I love that you still gave Hugh a choker. Very, very yeah. cool. Mint Manga with been working on some prints for Artist Alley. Here's one of the original Wright & Co. office crew. Yeah. Nice. Damn. Miss me some pearls. Very, very cute. Uh, step ladder with today I've got some Scuttlebox skins for Miriam. Yo, it's the fucking box from uh, Metal Gear. Oh my god. Yeah. My Wait, shitty third, box. That's incredible. The third one though. This will forever appear at each Somnia. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst! Wow! <laughs> wow! And bonus to make up for the last one. Oh, that's so good! Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Yo, these are incredible. Jeez. Hell yeah, step ladder. Reaper with Howdy. I have other art that I want to finish, but my brain decided to hate me, so I have some sketchbook drawings. Yippee! <laughs> yeah, this cute Robin. God forbid women have hobbies. Objection! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, it's Wizard Wednesday. Yeah, I love Wizard. Shout out to Wizard Wednesday. Uh, this kid and his fuck ass bob cut. Also, his bro dead or just or like just in jail. <laughs> uh, the Gaviners and who are you? <laughs> very good. Uh, and of course, a very solid fools. Hell yeah, hell yeah, very good Reaper. Uh, infamously dorky with did a Marvel. Yo, I almost said Marvel versus Karma. Uh, Manfred von Karma cosplay at <laughs> a local con. <laughs> yeah, this fucking rule. Oh my god, you found an elevator out of service and posed in front of it. That's so fucking funny. That's holy awesome. shit. Holy that's shit. so good. Yeah, that's incredible. What? Oh my oh, is god. The, is that the the kid from Little Nightmares? Oh, it might be. It might be. I think it is. I was thinking it's the That's a, the fucking new Nicolas Cage video game, Ezio or whatever the hell it is. 
Right. This is incredible, infamously dorky. Hell yeah. yeah. Little ghost with, hey guys, I drew these three goobers as Naruto characters. Yeah. Oh, I love Juniper with, like, really leaning into, like, the plant trope. She got uh -huh. fucking forest jutsu. Sunflower, no jutsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. Uh, Asa Faraday with Welcome to the Weekly Ace. The soy justifies the beans. That's also a good one. Uh, Kay Faraday. Very good. Very, very good. I like this pose a lot, too. Hell yeah. Uh, Moon Knight Productions with Maurice Duelist. Since I found out Apollo shares the Japanese voice actor of Jaden Yuki from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, his Apollo is, is a duelist in various outfits of his. I also made him a custom disc with a bracelet pattern for when he takes his leave of absence. And yes, the bandage trails are in a heart intentionally for spoiler reasons. Ho ho ho. Yeah! No, this is very cool. It's, it's like, genuinely as stupid as Yu-Gi-Oh is, the fucking dual discs are so goddamn cool. There. They're so goddamn cool. <laughs> uh, Panic Pang, if I had a nickel for every time a Capcom game had a silly scream in the middle of a really emotional scene. Well, I'd have two nickels. You know the rest. All praises of the voice actors for real, I wouldn't be able to do it any better. Aw, oh, yeah! Oh shit, and he's holding them! Uh, both of them, like the fucking, uh, I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with lies. <laughs> Very good. Aaron Voy with First Post. Your playthroughs are really specking my love for this franchise. Anyways, as a game development major, I love the firewall joke and spent the whole stream drawing this. I'm very slow at art, so I didn't get to render. Have a firewall interruption in the middle of quote. <laughs> your NordVPN subscription has expired. Would you like to renew? No, Widget, I'm in the middle of a trial here! This is important! I don't want to get hacked! Update your fucking firewall! <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Uh, John Coser originally made these to be part of the send-off for Case 5-3, but since we got one more stream to go, Bridge, I hope you feel better soon. Uh, the third comic, which originally gives some spoilers, will have to wait until next week. In the meantime, here's some goofy comics for this week. With, with special guests, Wes. You want in on their trio, don't you? Kakak! How could you possibly know that? Because you just told us, box girl. Very good. I need to keep my big lid shut. Wait, you mean your mouth or your box? <laughs> it's just you going. <laughs> it's your wow 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 wow. Stop that! <laughs> I'm a genius, you know. I can parallel park one-handed. I can use a bow and arrow one-handed. I can buckle my shoes and pull up my pants with one hand. In that order. <laughs> I hope he doesn't put the... I hope he doesn't try to put his undies on last. So help me if he answers that. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Well, she shouldn't have mentioned it. And you shouldn't either. Both of those statements are... Unmentionables. Wow. Wes, I swear to God! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, and uh, Eustace Bennington, Eric Bennington, with Warning for Mean Smile on the first one. I made this one during a content warning stream. Watch the VOD for it, by the way. Thank you. It's very cool. When Zach got <laughs> accidentally marked it as an Ace Attorney stream, I knew what I had to do. Originally, was going to post it last week. <laughs> wow, it's so good! It's dead on that fucking monster! That's so incredible! <laughs> Yo, if you saw that in content warning, I'd fucking run right away. Oh, yeah. Well, no. then I'd get Jason to do a cool dance in front of it, but that's really good. And Means is ballin', hopefully nobody named Chase Beach yells at him. <laughs> My philosophy is dead, I don't want to re-justify the Means, I only want to play ball, shoot hoops with local dills now. God damn, that's so good. <laughs> uh, Chrono Wizard with a sequel is finally here. It's Metal Gear Cross Ace Attorney Part 2. Super light on spoilers, so it shouldn't be a problem, but heads up just in case. Offshore decontamination facility, big shell. This is Raiden, and the mission is fine! Calm down, Raiden. You'll give away your position. Uh, sorry, Your Honor. I'm ready to proceed with the case. Right. Just focus on stopping Dead Cell and finding that Metal Gear. Yes, sir! Vampires, Russians, and explosive experts. 
I've seen most of these types before, but still, why can't I have a normal field mission? And my bracelet just reacted too. Is the judge telling me everything I need to know about this case? There you are. You've kept me waiting. You kept me waiting, huh? Wait, who the hell are you? Real funny, Pliskin. It's me, Raiden. No! Oh, no, like this is not him. Raiden. <laughs> you look nothing like him. Um, it's a disguise? I thought you of all people would know. Okay, if you're truly Raiden, then recall the mission to me. Don't skip a single detail. Well, it started with my complicated childhood trauma. One of my many backstories, that's right. Uh, on second thought, keep it brief. Whenever you tune in next time, you're all the best. Have a good night.